guess what? Finally, it's arrived. So, I got in the mail a few days ago. I got um, a package from Mighty Ape that has contains a few interesting things. Um, some of which my brother got, which I'll try some of which. Be careful with knives, they're sharp, which is an obvious thing, they should be, because it's their purpose. <clears throat> Anyways, let's get into this. So, what I got was some interesting food from Mighty Ape. Um, I'm not sponsored by them because... So it comes in this kind of plastic, under the plastic is a cardboard packaging. Um, and inside this is what I ordered. My brother wanted some of, which is fair enough. So, let's so get this out and completely destroy everything just to. Package failures, pretty much, for me. Oh well. The old way by tearing those. There we go. Pretty well packaged. Oh my gosh, it's smaller than I expected, but oh right, well. Uh, so, got quite a few things. Can we get this rubbish off of here? There we go. So, um, what I ordered is um ooh, grasshoppers i've never eaten bugs but i'm gonna do it because well i was on fair affinity i put a a uh, thing for um to see who would eat bugs and a large majority of the votes said Yes, they would eat bugs. So, as they say, I'm going to try them. So they come in a little plastic package. I'll just cut the top of that off. Hmm. The kind of odd smell for them. Um, let me just get some water ready just in case... They are not particularly the best, um, so they're dried, um, like they look like they're kind of like being baked and dried at the same time. Uh, if they don't taste any good on their own, maybe put them in like a stir fry or something. I guess you're supposed to use them as kind of like a seasoning, like onions. Well, very, not that flavourful, so the more crunchy, kind of like a, just a moment, kind of crisp taste, kind of like eating a, um, a sort of a, a fried piece of potato or something, kind of like a chip. Um, Yeah, not much of a flavour. <clears throat> There's a slight, like, um, natural kind of flavour to it. It's not really much. So, they'll probably be alright on crackers or something. Uh, can I get these again? Hmm, maybe. Like, they're probably quite healthy. Uh, look on the back of the box. Energy, 168. Uh, energy by 100 grams uh, is 1,880. Protein of 29.5, fat total of 23, hmm, saturated, 8.0, carbohydrates, 
11.9 sugars 8.6 sodium whoa that's a lot of that's a lot of sodium uh, 1780 milligrams that's a lot of soda uh, sodium <laughs> A bit of a bug wing. Um, I'll save some of these and share them out. Um, my brother also got some. He wanted me. To, sorry, there. Hiccup. Uh, some juicy chews, which they look all right. Don't mind if I borrow a couple, Don. At least. Grab one out. <clears throat> Whoops, there's a box. And let's give one of these a try. Uh, the water away that. <laughs> not bad, they're just they're not really that flavorful, but they'd be good with something. Juicy chews. Mm. I give those about an average. Um, they're not the most tastiest, but they are okay. I'll definitely eat those again. They're kind of an average, but you like hand a couple of those out, people will eat them. <clears throat> so the next one is called. Thai chew. I'm guessing some of these like Taiwan or um, Japanese maybe. I'm not too sure exactly, but yeah, so Hai Chew. I'll give them a try. Let's see what they, um, they taste like. This one's a banana. Let's give it a shot. Whoa, it's got a very strong smell when I opened it. Um, <clears throat> it's definitely a really high smell of banana, but it's like really kind of got a chemically tinge to it, so. Not bad. They're a little bit better than the other ones, <clears throat> um, given it that it's got a slight chemically kind of smell at the beginning. So you are going to be kind of obviously smell is one important thing when it comes to food, especially to me. <clears throat> it doesn't smell appetizing. It's not as appetizing for me. Um, so the next one um, are some warheads. Dream Sour Warheads. I think we've all tried some of these at some stage. Um, made in Taiwan. Um, and... Uh, sugars are definitely off the chart. Definitely only going to eat one of these. Because they are definitely filled with a lot of sugar. Uh, <clears throat> grab a green one out. Apple. I'm sure the sour apple will be probably the most sour um, of the bunch. I'm sure my scissors, because these things are a bit of a right real bugger to get into. There we go. They're actually a solid, they're not a chewy one. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Um, they are sour. You're making my eyes water. 
Um, just a moment. Oh. Very sour. Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> um, I'll just push that into a wrapper so I don't drop it on the floor and make a mess. Very sour. And that was just the apple. Um, if you want to torture yourself uh, with candy, um, definitely reach for the Warheads Extreme Sour. Uh, and I just ate the green apple. Um, as much as I want to try the rest, I just don't feel like burning out all my taste buds. Uh, but yeah, that's all for now. Um, <clears throat> um, maybe I might try and post some sort of, sort of like a vote kind of thing or um, next things I might try and eat. <laughs> Nothing spicy. I am not going to ruin my mouth by doing that. I'm definitely not going to eat those like, you know, ghost peppers or anything. Uh, I will try odd foods like this, however. Um, that tastes quite nice. I do eat a little bit of spicy stuff. I'm just not into ruining my taste buds and other places in my body with very soft, very hot things like that. Um, but I will try various types of foods like that. Um, <clears throat> I might try mealworms eventually. Um, these were... These are, they're readable. Um, there's just a little oxygen pack thing they put into every packaged food that's like that. But yeah, they're pretty much whole or kind of fallen apart from just being in packaging. Don't know how these are cooked, but um... It's supposed to be a smoky barbecue kind of flavour, which I can kind of get the de kind of detect that in the back of the mouth. In the mouth, um, like they're not the best, but like they'd be good on something like a maybe a burrito with a bit of beef and beans. Probably quite good. Um, would that be an alternative to me? Not really. You need a lot of them just to make up a decent meal. And they're definitely not the same as eating meat. Uh, but they're a good form of like, they're a good snack. Like, um, if they came in bigger boxes, like a kind of a cereal box sized portion um or you buy like a multi-pack of like they come in like little chip packets you know what i mean a perfect like serving snack instead of just you know this is like 12 dollars i believe for just one packet of this which is was it 12 dollars i'm gonna have to try and remember um but they weren't cheap you know just for a small amount of um if you want to get something that's healthy and cheaper just get a muesli bar or a, or a carrot or an apple. But it's not as it is, it's pretty good. Um, I will try other things like uh, might try some mealworms, which are pretty much, I bet they're going to probably be similar to these if they're not the same flavour. So I'll save the rest of these for later. And I do hope you all have a wonderful day, and it's always nice trying new things. Um, you know, not saying to you try. Um, they're definitely very crunchy. So they're probably a good source of fibre for your body. Um, definitely want something to drink with it, though, um, to get a little bits that kind of end up in your mouth. But, eh, they're okay. And um, I do hope you guys have a wonderful day, as I was saying, and 
I will be trying to plan on different types of videos and all the rest. And yeah, if you have any ideas for any content that isn't too expensive, um, I am playing. I do have a subscribe star account, but I can't get it to work at the moment because I don't have a thousand subscribers. Which you know, if I had a thousand subscribers, I'd probably put a couple of ads here and there. Um, but I probably, if anything, I'm just going to use my channel. It's just a small channel, and yeah. Any ideas, let me know that aren't too expensive, or I can just do this. Uh, and yeah, we have found a property. I will be making a video once we move there and all that, once we kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Um, I'll try and get some footage of it when we get a chance to, but yeah, have a good day. I think that's the quickest, I think that's as quick as I want to, you know, as long as I want to make this video. Um, yeah, have a good one.